Hello YouTube, this is Lou and Chazo. Today, I will be going over politics in the United States, specifically politics on the left. Today, we'll also be using Yu-Gi-Oh cards to explain my outlook. In this particular instance, we'll be using a rather dated series of cards known as the Huge Revolution, which consists of three normal monsters and one trap card. The first of the cards that we're going to be covering today is Oppressed People. The flavor text reads, they are oppressed, but believe they will have their freedom someday. I believe this card alludes to the lower class people of the United States whether it be the black people of color, you have the Asian communities, Hispanic communities, basically all the communities that are disenfranchised and have low income, which would include uh, working class white Americans. The second monster is the people running about. The flavor text reads, although they always suffer in silence, they swear an oath to inevitably revolt. These, I believe, are the people who aren't really tuned into politics, but also suffer because of the policies that are put in place. Usually through voters who just play for a specific team or party. And politicians who hide certain policies through other bills that may look nice on the surface but are also very harmful in, in the subtext. The third and final monster in the series is the United Resistance. The flavor text reads, the people that gather to swear to fight their oppressors. A revolution is coming. This card I believe symbolizes the different groups that have come forth in recent years for example, brand new Congress, you have the Squad, Our Revolution, the Movement for the People's Party, and others. They may be separate entities, but they all share the same common goal, which is to make things more progressive. This brings us to our trap card, Huge Revolution. Its effect reads, this card can only be activated during the main phase when people running about, oppressed people, and united resistance are face up on your side of the field. Send all cards in your opponent's hand to the graveyard and destroy all cards your opponent controls on the field. It is my belief that unless we all come together, marginalized communities, non-voters, and and those of us who have galvanized to form coalitions, it will be impossible to topple the neoliberal and fascist government that we have to contend with. Just like how in this card itself, it is impossible to do anything unless all the three pieces are in place first. And that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, and share this video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a nice day, and Luden out.